Rather ambitious for them to name a song on their album 4 stars out of 5, knowing for sure that their newly adopted style would warrant less than 2 from a large chunk of their fanbase. I don't know if I've seen a band get this much flack for a new direction, and I kinda see why, but I must disagree. Arctic Monkeys as an indie rock band from Sheffield had a come up that saw their energetic garage rock revival music on the cheeky and hilarious Whatever People Say, then the poppy and punchier Favourite Worst Nightmare, transition into Atomic Josh Homme Samba Rock on Humbug, that of which I actually liked a lot. It was on Suckered and and AM where polarisation occurred, and perhaps the summer washed anthems and bland swaggery cock rock wasn't for everyone. Neither of them were for me either, but I can see catching us poking through. There were kind of some 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 bops there. Some some bop some bops as they say. I've done videos from my high school years about how I loved Arctic Monkeys a lot and I and I really did. I would have been really excited for a new album around that time, and now that it's come around the time that I've long since stopped having them as a regular listen, it's fitting that they, especially Alex Turner, sound as if they're onto new things at this point. I wouldn't even be surprised if the man began a solo career and I'm not talking about the Submarine soundtrack. From what I've heard, Turner wrote most of these songs on the piano himself and the band is there to back him up with some extra instrumentation. Turner seems to have pulled his head out of his ass and become a lot more self-aware and self-mocking, which I respect up until points where the frontman of one of the whitest bands out there speaks about gentrification, or when this exact fella claims that he was wild in the 70s. Listen, you can sound old school by performing loungy elevator music, but the performer of I Wanna Be Your Vacuum Cleaner and Breathe In Your Dust isn't fooling anyone. At the same time, I'm glad that Turner is moving on to new, stranger and more reflective of topics because believe it or not guys, this guy is in his mid 30s. I don't really think he'd be up to writing songs about being a young teenager in Sheffield anymore. This isn't Weezer. Tranquility based hotel and casino adopts not an indie rock style but a classy, dimly lit, spacey, loungy, slow dance one. Amazingly with most of the instrumental palette being piano, it's impressive that Turner can churn out some endearing melodies despite the bass line blubbering the same thing for most of the track listing. And maybe that's another thing, if you zone out because the slow syrupy style really isn't your thing then you're sure to notice how similar these tracks are, and especially with the second half they blend into one another much more. The first half throws up a smoky air of mystery with Star Treatment, the most lounge inspired song of them all, but it's on one point perspective where the pokey piano chords and twee guitar solo shine with a surprising amount of class, instrumentally anyways. I think the immediate reaction I had upon hearing the piano instrumentals plus the delay effect on Turner's deep singing was just, well, this is totally just Timber Tamba. Four out of five seems to be the big stunner though, and for good reason, as its catchy opening riff leads into a song offering a wonderfully harmonious and satisfying hook near the end. It got rave reviews. Four stars Turner's seeming non sequitur imagery is strange but intriguing. I might even say it works aside from perplexing inclusions of questions about whether I've watched Blade Runner and an amusingly dramatic delivery of the word cheeseburger. It seems Turner is attempting to make human commentary on the digital age with these detailed and unusual images and scenarios like Father John Mist- Oh my gosh, Alex Turner is actually just Father John Misty. The piano, the slow jams, the gentrification, he's actually just Father John Misty. The issue is that while a lot of the sci-fi themed statements and observations are actually really endearing, especially when it comes to dating on social media on She Looks Like Fun, or the way we absorb information through headlines on the world's first ever monster truck front flip, some of the lines that are meant to be humorously absurd seemed a bit tacked on. I do think the concept of falling and tired rock stars is creative, although a lot of those observations seem to be disguised seedily as romantic songs. Also, this album totally flatlines in the second half, and its slow dance style becomes far too milk toast to reckon with even milk or toast. I don't like all of it, but I like a fair bit of it. It seems self-aware of its own schlock and pats down its loungier style particularly well. I guess I just won't be surprised if I see live concert videos surface of Turner crooning out these lyrics drunk on red wine. 6 out of 10. You don't get to make fun of Alex Turner, Ricky. You've rescinded that right. If this was an EP with the first six tracks, I'd give shut it an up. 8 out of no, 10. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. No, no, you wouldn't. Shut up.